What's going on shady people? Shady Penguin here bringing you another live Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle today against a subscriber slash follower, Terrell. He follows me on Twitter. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, check out the links in the description below because that's where I ask for battles mostly. Um, if you want a chance to battle me, that's definitely your best bet. Um, if you can, before we get started, please click the like button, leave a like rating on this video. And the only reason why I ask is because if we hit 165 likes on this video, I will keep two videos a day coming your way. It's just the way we exchange. I give you guys more content. You give me support and other people find the channel. It's freaking great. That's all likes do. Likes allow you to tell other people that you like this channel and then they find it. So it's freaking awesome. We're going to go over the team. I'm bringing, I'm bringing Claudia, Trevenant, Vaporeon, Diggersby, Noivern, and Scizor. I always say Claudia. And for some reason, whenever I'm narrating and doing my team preview, I always forget that the name is Crawdon, and I always give it, say its nickname Claudia. But I'm bringing Claudia, and the Trevenant that I'm bringing, I actually grabbed the wrong one. Um, I'm using one that was a gift, so it doesn't have the moves that I want, like all the moves. I think it has like one or two different moves. But we're gonna use it and see how it does. I think it actually might be holding a Citrus Berry too, um, which kind of nope, it's holding Lum. All right, cool. I love Trev. Listen, listen. To oh no, you guys can't hear because I had to take out the sound. Thanks because YouTube has stupid rules. Um. You guys know my team, so uh, something I want to start doing in my videos, leave a comment down below letting me know, right now, leave a comment, um, who do you think is going to do the best in this battle, and then see if your bet plays out. Uh, place a bet on one of my Pokemon, either uh, Crawdaunt, uh, Shofu was here, my Diggersby, Scizor, Noivern, Vaporeon, or Trevenant. Um, I'm going to lead with my Diggersby because it does have U-Turn. And uh, that's just the way it's going to be. I can U-turn out if I don't like the matchup. And if I do like the matchup, I can just go for moves that will do damage. I really like my opponent's team. I didn't even comment on it, but holy crap. You guys saw that team. He's using like basically a UU team, it looks like. Plus Mega Ampharos. So this is going to be a pretty good battle. I have a feeling this will be a great battle. Terrell is issuing a challenge. Uh, he's going to send out Roserade. That is a terrible, terrible, terrible matchup for me. And it seems like his Roserade is faster, so let's switch out into Trevenant to eat up the grass type move. Because that is what I'm predicting. I don't think anyone predicts first turn. I mean, it's, it's, people do. I do sometimes, but then I usually end up regretting it. So, first turn, you usually like to scout, see what kind of a player your opponent is. See, right now I can scout. I'm going to Trevenant, which can pretty much take anything from Roserade. And, uh, look at that. It's a shiny Trevenant, which was a gift. From a subscriber, he's going to go for the Toxic Spikes. I don't think I have anything to soak those up, so that kind of stinks. But a couple of my Pokemon are affected by it. I love Trevenant's purple eye. It looks so good. Um, yeah, see, this one has will o -Wisp, Rest, Leech Seed, and Shadow Claw instead of Horn Leech. So, completely viable. I just like the Horn Leech because it um, it hits everything. It, doesn't, it can't be neutralized by normal-type Pokemon. And also, I like the recovery. So, I'm going to go for the will o -Wisp here just because why not? Let's... uh. Let's willow it up. Let's burn something. Let's set things on fire. That's what I want to do. So I really hope you guys... He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb. That's going to do a good amount. This Trevenant looks like it has more HP than mine, which is interesting. I thought I had max HP, but I guess I do not. So I'm going to get a willow off. We saw that Sludge Burn... That Sludge Burn... That Sludge Bomb did about 80... Uh, not, actually, 79. So I'm going to go for a rest here. Because another sludge, another two sludge bombs will take me out. So let me go for a rest. Hopefully he doesn't crit my Trevenant. I like how Roserade closes her eyes or his eyes, whichever one it is, um, whenever it does sludge bombs. So that's kind of cool. So I'm in a good spot because I can actually um, rest up. I'll, re I'll, I'll recover. Um, recover. I'll wake the heck up because of my Lumberry. Lumberries are basically just so satisfying that when a Pokemon sees it, even when it's sleeping, it's like, oh, let me eat you up, wake up, so it wakes up, so that's cool. I'm actually going to go for a Shadow Claw now, because he might switch out, because he sees that, oh, he's going to go for Aromatherapy, alright, alright, I can dig it, I can dig it. So he has Aromas Aromatherapy, Toxic Spikes, Sludge Bomb, and uh, let's see how much the Shadow Claw does, this is a Stab sa Shadow Claw, and it's, wow, just about to take it out, holy crap. I'm actually just going to go for another Shadow Claw. Instead of going for a Will-O-Wisp, I should probably go for a Will-O-Wisp because in case he decides to switch out, I think that Shiny Trevenant is going to be the cover of this thumbnail because that looks so nice. Um, he goes down to Aviator. See, I should have gone for the Will-O-Wisp, which is exactly what I was just talking about. This is why you guys, when you're playing, take your time and make your plays closely because he, he was able to completely nullify that and he is going to be able to go for a U-Turn and get huge switch initiative, um, which really does stink. But there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to go out into Vaporeon. Because Vaporeon is really the only thing that wants to take damage. Um, and not that it really even wants to take the damage. It just has to take the damage. 
I am gonna get I am gonna get poisoned, but look, it's only one layer, so it's not toxic. It is going to be steady damage. He's going to go for the Brave Bird. He did not go for the U-Turn. So this is probably a Choice Band of Brave Bird, and it's going to do a large amount. It's going to, but he's going to get hurt by the uh, Recoil and the Life Orb. So it's a Life Orb uh, Aviator. <laughs> I'm calling it Aviator. Right. Life Orb Staraptor. That Brave Bird did a good, good amount. I think my mic might be a little hot, so I'm going to start talking a little bit softer. Um, I'm actually just going to go for an Ice Beam. Because, you know what, if my Vaporeon dies right now to another Brave Bird, whatever. Vaporeon's going down. You are absolutely useless this battle. I really hope no one voted for you. I feel bad if they did. Um, but down goes Vaporeon. Really just wasted that Pokemon. There's nothing I could do. I probably could have went into a different Pokemon, but luckily, we can see how uh, whittled down this Pokemon is now. So I can go into my, um, my Digger's B and just straight up go for a quick attack, which is going to do... Which is going to take this thing out, no doubt. Unfortunately, Diggersby is going to get poisoned. One of the half poke, uh, half of the Pokemon on my team will get affected by spikes, so it is what it is. He might, he won't go out into Ampharos right now, but he might not. I don't know if he'll sacrifice his Aviator. He's got to be predicting the Quick Attack. He has to be. Not a doubt in my mind that he's predicting the Quick Attack. So let's see what happens. Yeah, my mic is definitely a little bit too hot. I mean, that's, this mic is so sensitive for some reason, so hopefully the editing doesn't sound too crappy and everything doesn't sound maxed out. But uh, if it does, I apologize. Take your time. Actually, I shouldn't say take your time. He's allowed to take his time. He can decide his move carefully, which is fine by me. Um, while we're... Okay, he's going to the Provo Pass, which is definitely a good, good, good play. Ooh, a shiny Provo Pass. Ooh, that's beautiful. You might take the cover. I don't know yet, but that quick attack does absolutely nothing. Um... I really wish I still had my... Oh, what the heck? What item did he just have? That he was forced out. What the heck was that? I totally missed that. Goes back out into Aviator. Um, just to get the Intimidate off. I'm still pretty confident that a quick attack is going to kill. Although he might just switch out again. But I think I'm just going to go for the quick attack because he's going to expect me to switch out. But I think a choice banded quick attack, even with the attack drop. Um, is going to kill without a problem. I really wish... Huh. Wish I had a fighting type move right now. But I don't. So let's see if this quick attack does take him out. Oh, it just barely takes him out. That HP went down so slow. So down goes Aviator. So he's lost one Pokemon. I've lost one Pokemon. Um, I think I'm a little bit behind, though, because my I ha he has Toxic Spikes on my side of the field. There's just not many good things happening right now. Not many good things at all. Um, let's see. A Jaguar. I don't know why I'm saying a Jaguar. I'm reading comments when I should just be focusing on the battle. Out comes Golduck. Quacken Jr. Um, which means that I have to switch out because water is a real thing. I'm, mm, I can go into my Trevenant. That's fine. I don't think, I mean, this Golduck might carry the Ice Beam. Which he can go for the Ice Beam, but I guess, you know what? It's, I'm using a different Trevenant. I'm used to using my Trevenant with my EV spreads, and I really don't... I didn't get a chance to check the EV spreads on this Trevenant. So we'll see how much an Ice Beam does if that's what he decides to go for. If not, I can just set up the Leech Seed, which is just fine. Then again, Rose Raid's still around, so I should probably just go for a Willow to get residual damage on whatever it wants. Or I could go for the Shadow Claw now that Aviator is gone, and it'll do super effective damage on his Gold Duck. So let's see what happens. I'm going out into Birch Tree, the gifted Trevenant, and I am going to get poisoned, which is not a big deal because I will have a Lum that I can just eat up right now, and that's why he's one of my Pokemon. Yeah, he's one of my Pokemon. He did go for the Ice Beam, so he did predict very well. Let's see how much this does. Mm, it's going to do about 90, so I pretty much have to go for rest here. I have to go for rest here in case he decides to go for another Ice Beam. I'm risking the freeze. Um... I do think he's faster, so I'm going to hope that I can rest. I hope that he stays and goes for an Ice Beam. He does go for an Ice Beam. Hope I don't get critted or frozen. Let's hope those things. Okay, so I didn't get critted or frozen. I'm going to go for rest, and now I need to harvest my Lum Barrier right now. That would be completely, completely crucial in this game for me to harvest my Lum Berry right now because I used it up when I got poisoned. I didn't harvest it up, so uh, that kind of sucks, but let's go for a Shadow Claw. Regardless, look at, look, I like how just his eye just disappears and he folds his brow. 
when he's sleeping. That's fantastic. Trevenant is seriously my favorite Pokemon right now. He's going to go for another Ice Beam. Ice Beam, I think, only has 10 PP. So he's used three of them so far. And unless he's used PP ups, please, 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 please recover your harvest, harvest, harvest. Oh, he didn't harvest. I'm screwed now. I'm definitely screwed. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go into something else. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I wonder if he'll carry T-Bolt. Some Gold Ducks carry T-Bolt, right? Which I don't think makes sense, but I, I can't just let this Trevenant sit in here. I'm going to have to go out. Let me see something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to have to... I can go out into my Scizor. I think I'm going to go out into my Scizor. I'm going to take the opportunity to say, hey, let's go out into Scizor right now. And uh, this actually... This scissor is going to become very important in the near future. Hope you guys understand that. I will reveal shortly, not today, but I will reveal some point why it is going to be so important. Let's see. How much special defense does scissor gain? Scissor gains another 20 special defense. So even if he goes for a water type move. Oh, I didn't put Swords Dance on you. I didn't put it back. Oh, no. Such the misplays using two Pokemon that aren't really good. All right. I'm hoping that he goes to switch out because I am going for the pursuit. So I hope that he goes to switch out. Um, I think he's actually just going to end up going for a water type move because that's probably his best bet. But I'm hoping, hoping and praying that he switches out. Now, I wonder if he goes to switch out. I haven't seen this yet. If he does go to switch out, will my pursuit happen first? He's going to withdraw. Oh, okay, good. Then I'm going to Mega Evolve and then I'm going to pursue. And that is a dead gold duck without a doubt. There's no way that you're living that. And he's, he knows right now. By this point, you know. Once you see... The fact that you're locked in, I must... Oh, he's not going to be dead. All right. For some reason, I thought it was super effective. What the heck? I'm an idiot. All right. I'm just a straight up idiot. Um, I think that a bullet punch will take this thing out. But I have to make sure. Possibly not because it is... No, no, no. It'll take it out. A bullet punch will definitely take this thing out. So let's go for the bullet punch. Um, and take this Roserade out. No big deal. I really want to know what I what what did I miscalculate? What's wrong? What is wrong with my head? Oh wow! So Gold Duck's not. Oh my gosh! I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. For some reason, I really thought the Gold Duck was part psychic. I really did. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But I really thought it was part psychic. All right. Um, let's see. What can I do? Um, this Probo Pass is really going to be a problem. I actually think I'm going to go into my tra Oh no, you have Magnet Ball. Oh my gosh, that's so terrible. That's the worst thing that could have happened. All right, I just have to go for Bullet Punches because it's Stab and it's Technician. So let's go for Bullet Punches. Oh wait, no, no, I know what I could have done. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Don't kill me. He goes for T-Wave. He's still going to be able to kill me. I am so stupid. I am the stupidest man on the face of the earth. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to title this thing Misplays. I could have gone for a freaking U-turn, which would have been the smart play. And then he could, and then I would have wanted to Trevenant. And the plays would have been real, because now three of my Pokemon are status. He's going to withdraw his Probo Pass. Let's just hope I don't get fully... Oh, he's going into Twerkle. His Torkoal, that's amazing. Hopefully I don't get fully paralyzed. I don't, so I'm going to go for U-turn. Now he's probably saying, why didn't you go for U-turn before? And it's, well, because I'm an idiot, that's why. So that is what it is. He's going to um, hold up my red card. So I'm going to get thrown out of the game anyway. So nothing really matters. Um, okay. And Claudia is going to come right out. So that's actually perfect. Um, that's a perfect red card right there. I can't ask for a better red card. So let's go for a dragon dance. Either dragon. I can't go for a knockoff. I'm just going to go for a dragon dance and say screw it. Dragon dance is my best bet. And uh, I don't think this Torkoal can do much to me. Tor I, Torkoal's one of my favorite Pokemon, and you're going to be seeing him from me soon, actually. Hint, hint. Another hint at things to come. But uh, Torkoal's one of my favorite Pokemon. But I'm going to be able to get a Dragon Dance off here, and he can't paralyze me, so I'm in a pretty good spot. Um, his Gold Duck is no longer going to outspeed me, and I'm also pretty sure that his Gold Duck is still holding its Life Orb. Um, if that's the item it was holding, I'm not entirely sure. But... Either way, a knockoff is really going to wreak havoc on my opponent right now. Knockoffs for days, really. He has four Pokemon left. I wouldn't be surprised if Claudia just defaces all of them. I really wouldn't be surprised. Look at that. Look at how intense Claudia just stands. Oh, look at her. Going for the knockoff. you got to be dead. I'm at plus one. It's Adaptability Stab. 
It's you're holding an item, so it's GG right there. Your deep sea scale just got knocked off. Deep sea scale, gone. All right, so I take more poison damage, and he has to make decisions right now. I mean, he only has Probo Pass. Um, Ampharos, a shiny Ampharos. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. All right, I might have to switch out here actually, because there's no reason for me to waste this guy. And if I go into my Digger's Bee, it's probably pretty predictable. So at this point, I think I'm actually going to go into my Trevenant. Just because it's fodder at this point. And not that it has low HP, but I'd rather just fodder this thing off and get a safe switch into my uh, Digger's Bee. Instead of him possibly possibly going for a Dragon-type move and taking my Digger's Bee out. Because that would be a problem. That would definitely be a huge problem. That looks really cool. I think... Shiny Mega Ampharos makes so much more sense. Like, he looks like a dragon. He did go for the T-Bolt. So I could have switched into Digger's Bee and been a pro. But unfortunately, I'm not. Uh, and I didn't harvest. Once again, I did not harvest. So that kind of really sucks. I'm going to go for the rest. I don't wake up. Of course not, because waking up is something that normal people do. Now he's going to go for the Deep Pulse and without a doubt, take me out. Wow, Shiny Mega Ampharos looks so cool. You might make the cover too. So many Shinies in this match. Jeez. But uh, I think only, yeah, three. No, he has Pro Pass. All right, so now I'm going to go into my Digger's B. Because the only Pokemon he has left are, um, trying to think. He has Ampharos, he has Pro Pass, and he has, uh, I don't know his last one, but I'm going to go for Earthquake anyway, because who really cares at this point? Hopefully he doesn't have a Flying-type Pokemon. And if he does, hopefully he doesn't predict me to, all right, he stayed in. So Earthquake's going to do a butt ton of damage. It is choice banned, super effective that Ampharos is going down no matter how bulky you think you are, Ampharos. I love you, shiny Ampharos, I really do. I'm gonna take some poison damage, but that is not a big deal. At this point, the game is just about won. Just about. Because Diggersby is probably gonna be able to wreck some shop here. It looks like Diggersby might be taking the title of champion. He goes into Twerkel once again. Once again, I know Twerkel has such super high defense, but an Earthquake, Stab, Choice Banded, is gonna take you out. I don't see you living, ever. If you do, I will be happy because I'm going to be using a Torkoal soon, but Twerkle does faint. The smoke just goes away, just disappears, vanishes forever, never to be smelt, seen, or felt again. He's down to his last Pokemon, which I believe is his Probopass, who is also going to go down to the mighty hands of Diggersby. The mighty, mighty hands, mighty ear hands. Just fantastic, Diggersby. Taking out three Pokemon in this game. Unbelievable. So that's going to bring us to the end of this game because that's times four effective. If you guys enjoyed this battle, even with all my misplays, please make sure you left a like rating on this video. I hope you left a comment letting me know um, who you were predicting to win. And you should leave another one right now letting me know if it actually happened, if who you predicted to win actually won. Um, have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.